What is up y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a what is in my tech slash travel bag. I'm going on a trip to Portland. It's gonna be my first time I've ever gone to Portland. And since I'm going to Portland, I'm basically packing my tech bag anyways, cause I'm going there on a work trip. So I figured I'd show you what I got in my tech bag. Now the actual bag is um, nothing to write home about. It's basically just a Patagonia bag. I got this from my work when I started there. It's like, a, you know, startup kind of gift bag thing that they give out. So my, my bag is basically just a Patagonia bag you can buy from the store. Fun fact though, Patagonia stopped branding bags. So this is one of the last bags that they have branding on because I got this like a month before they stopped doing that. So yeah, basically just a, a big Patagonia bag, nothing special about it. Uh, so let's actually get into what I got in here. We'll start with the big things. I actually have two MacBooks that I carry with me basically at all times. And the reason for that is I have one, this is my personal laptop. You can tell because it has a bunch of random stickers on it. And then I also have my work laptop that I have to have on me basically at all times if I'm going on trips. I am what they call on call at certain times of the day for certain days. So if something goes wrong with our app, I have to be able to get on my work laptop and basically work anytime that I'm on call. So anytime I travel, I have to at least bring my personal and my work laptops with me. My personal laptop is a 2017 MacBook Pro with the touch bar and the, the scissor keys or butterfly keys. I kind of hate it, but I'm not gonna spend the money for a new one until the uh, new MacBooks come out. My work laptop is a 2019 or 2020, I can't really remember, MacBook Pro as well. And it also has the physical keys, not the touch bar at the top, which again, I prefer over my personal one. So I actually have less fun using my personal one than the, the work one, which is kind of ironic, but yeah, two MacBooks travel with me at all times. And then to go along with those MacBooks, if you saw my last everyday carry video, I am still rocking this, uh, basically cable pouch. This is a cable pouch from side by side. And this was sent to me for like a review, but I basically told them I'm just gonna use it. I'm not gonna do a review about it, but I'll include it in a video. And that was the last video that I did. And since that video, I have continued using this thing. I think it's perfect for what I need it for. Inside of here, I basically have every cable that I could need. I have USB-C to lightning, USB-C to USB-C, USB-A to lightning. I have adapters if I wanna do video editing on the go. I have adapters basically for everything. I have power bricks in here. Everything that I could possibly need is in here. And it actually comes in handy, especially on trips because usually people forget their chargers and things. And I'm like, hey, I got four extra, so come on down and borrow them and then I'll never get them back. But um, yeah, I keep everything in this pouch and so far it has turned out to be an amazing addition to the carry uh, and I'm really happy with it. So go check out Side by Side if you wanna grab one of these. I don't have a code or anything, I just, I, I think they're great. Now in terms of something that I actually bring with me, even if I'm not traveling, this is my SanDisk 500 gig SSD and it's cool because it's an SSD, it's super fast, it's super small and it's USB-C to USB-C, so I don't need a special adapter. I can just plug this right into my MacBook, and I basically put all of my active video projects on here. So if I'm editing a current project, all those files go on this SSD. If I'm doing something like later or it's long-term storage, I put it on a hard drive, um, mostly because these SSDs are expensive. The price of a 500 gig SSD, I think is like, uh, over 100, it's like $150 maybe at this point still, and a price of a 500 gig hard drive is like, $60, so um, I limit my use of the SSD to current active video projects. But I basically bring this everywhere with me. Now a newer addition to the Everyday Carry, which I didn't think I was gonna use that much, but it turns out I actually use this everywhere, even when I'm not traveling. Um, I've had this for a couple weeks now, and I use it all the time, which was surprising. But basically it is a three-in-one charger. Um, it lays flat on the table, and you plug it in with a USB-C cable, which they uh, included. This is from Zira. So Zira was like, hey, can we send this out to you? Um, you can test it out. And again, I told them, I'm not gonna make a whole video about it, but if I like it enough, I'll include it in this video if it actually is something that I use. I was kind of hesitant if I was actually gonna be using it. So I used to carry this with me. This was my iPhone charger slash my Apple Watch charger slash my AirPods charger. And I plugged them all into like the USB slots or into the power bricks. And then I plugged this whole monster into the wall. This is what I used to bring with me literally every time I traveled. Now I have replaced that entire thing with this uh, because this has three separate areas to wirelessly charge. This is basically a three-in-one charger that works with MagSafe and it's wireless charging. It has a spot for your AirPods, it has a spot for your Apple Watch, and it has a spot for your iPhone. And all of those are charged through, like I said, one single USB-C cable. And the even greater part about this whole thing, besides that it looks great, is it folds up into this like little compact square 
that you can just slide in your pocket basically. So again, I replace this with this. Like, there's very obviously a winner here. So I'm very grateful for Zira for sending this out. Again, I don't have a code, um, but if you wanna check out Zira Wireless, I think is their full name, I'll put a link to their website in the description because this is super cool and I actually use it way more than I thought. So shout out to them for sending this over. Now an easy cop out thing that I do bring with me everywhere are my AirPods. Um, I essentially, I mean, everybody knows what these are. I'm not gonna spend too much time on them. I bring them everywhere. I've had a couple pairs of these. I've had uh, the left one run over with a car, so I got it <laughs> replaced. I've had the left one go bad after getting it replaced, so I got it replaced again. These are basically something I don't even leave the house with, so these are definitely coming with me on my travels, but again, everybody knows what these are. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that. And then of course I have my iPhone that again, I bring everywhere with me. This is not necessarily a travel thing, but this is going to come with me everywhere. I have the iPhone 13 Pro. I think this thing is amazing. Um, I have a full review that I did on this phone. I bring it everywhere essentially because I don't want to bring the camera anymore and the cameras on this thing are just phenomenal. They do have wide angle, which I take all of my Instagram pictures with. They have super close up, which I don't really use. I think it's kind of a gimmick, but it's there. They have uh, really cool video effects now and basically I've replaced bringing my camera, which is this one I would bring with me everywhere. I'd lug this camera and the mic and everything around with me whenever I traveled, which is Kind of embarrassing to have like on a plane or like in public, really anywhere. Um, and I replaced all of that basically by just bringing my iPhone 13 Pro wherever I go. And um, yeah, obviously I, I need this to like talk to people too. So if I'm traveling, it's, it's a good idea to have. And then a newer pickup that I actually got uh, to go with the iPhone 13 Pro was Apple's MagSafe battery pack. I have mixed opinions on this thing and I still bring it with me because it's great to have an extra charge. And I've noticed again with, you know, why I bring my cables everywhere, a lot of times you'll be out with your friends, somebody runs out of battery. It's great to have this around, let them use it, charge their phone. For the price, I don't really think it's not worth it. It's like $100 and I don't think it even gets you like a 75% charge. Um, if you charge your phone from dead, it feels expensive. And I'm sure there's non-Apple ones that I could have gotten, um, but I kind of got sucked in when I walked into the Apple store. So I, I bought it and uh, now I have it. And I, I bring it with me because why not? But I don't think it's worth $100. Now, a little bit more of a unique situation that I doubt a lot of people are doing is I actually bring two phones with me. So I have my iPhone 13 Pro and then I have my Google Pixel 4a. The reason that I bring this with me is very similar to the reason I travel with two MacBooks. This is basically a requirement of my job. I'm an iOS developer, so I work on iPhone apps, but there are times where I have to test things on Android phones. If our Android app needs testing, we have to do a bug bash. I load the app up onto the Android phone that I have and I test it. So essentially I just carry this with me um, for testing purposes, but it actually has a super good camera. So I bring this around too. And um, yeah, it's kind of dead most of the time. There's no SIM in it. It doesn't have any like capabilities of actually calling or texting. Um, but you can browse the internet and it's it's fun to just, you know, watch YouTube and stuff on because the, the screen quality is great. So I bring this everywhere with me, but it's only really for testing purposes. I can't do much with the actual phone, but it travels with me. Now, a small addition that I have started doing recently is bringing my blue light glasses. So uh, I don't know if I look weird in, with these on because I don't wear them in public that much, but basically um, I have terrible vision and I'm on the computer all day. Uh, I'm a software developer, I make YouTube videos, so I'm always on the computer. And my doctor basically prescribed me some blue light glasses that are prescription for when I'm on the computer. So anytime I'm on, you know, working on my uh, app or working at work or editing YouTube videos, I'm supposed to have these on. So because I'm doing a lot of that stuff when I travel, I bring these with me now. I think they're cool. I went with the clear ones because they're more unique and I don't wear them like out in public, so I don't really care if they look weird and I think they look cool in private. So there you go. One addition that I also bring to kind of encapsulate everything that I have, make sure I can actually use everything that I bring is this adapter. Um, because I have the 2017 MacBook Pro, there is no ports on it. There's four USB-C ports and that's it. I basically bring this everywhere with me. It has four USB-A, it has a USB-C and it has SD cards and mini SDs. So I can actually plug this in and take footage from the camera upload it to the SSD that I bring, and then edit all that on the computer. And basically this enables me to do that. I do have other adapters, but this is like an all-in-one that I bring with me everywhere because it's just super convenient to have and to not have to worry about ports. Uh, I live in Michigan now. I used to live in Austin, Texas. I live in Michigan now, and a big staple of Michigan is Shinola, which is basically like a watch slash like leather goods company. 
and I have a Shinola wallet. And it's kind of like, a, I don't know, like a cool thing, a cool factor, I guess, because these wallets are definitely overpriced for what they are. They're just leather wallets, but the quality is super nice. It's stamped with my initials. It has Shinola stamped on it. Actually, it has Shinola Detroit stamped on it. And um, even has like a serial number on it to, so you can like validate that this is like an authentic Shinola wallet. And I actually have two of these. So depending on how I'm feeling, I will bring either one. This one is more of like a minimal slim wallet with absolutely no room for extra things, which I really enjoy. I hate folding wallets. I hate big wallets. And then the alternative that I also have is like a two fold wallet. And it's not the big one that like opens wide up. It's more of like basically two slim wallets put together, um, which I really appreciate. Cause again, even though it's a little bit thicker, it still minimizes the amount of stuff that I can bring with me, which I really appreciate because even though I bring a lot of stuff with me, it's all very essential. There's not a lot of extra things that I travel with um, that you know I don't need to because everything I bring with me has a purpose. I try to make it so I'm basically allowing myself to work to edit videos and to like work on my side projects all in one and a lot of the things overlap so I don't have to bring a lot of extra stuff with me. And then last but definitely not least is my iPad Pro setup. This setup is kind of overkill and this might be the one thing that I don't actually need to bring with me because I have so many alternatives. So this is the iPad Pro 11 inch. It's the first gen version of it so it doesn't have the nice camera setup but it still fits inside of the Magic Keyboard um, case that Apple actually makes. And I also have the iPad Pro uh, Apple Pencil to go along with it. And the reason that I think this is a little bit overkill is because everything I do on this can technically be done on the MacBooks, obviously. But what I do with this, and the reason I carry this around with me, is I get very distracted. If I'm on my computer and I'm trying to work, and then like, I'm like, I wonder what's on YouTube. I'll go to YouTube and I'll just spend the rest of the day there. And I know I can still do that on the iPad, but it's a little bit harder to multitask and to switch between contexts. So I actually bring the iPad Pro if I ever need to sit down and just like write or do documents or plan things or do calendar stuff, I only bring the iPad. So basically I stay focused on the one thing that I need to be doing there. And I'm not jumping around, like basically wasting time because it's a lot easier to do on the MacBook. So I bring this, that's why I have the whole case for it. Cause I bring it, I type, I do all my documentation or whatever I need to do. And then I leave the Apple pencil. I have no excuse for it. It's just, it's fun to have. I, I don't use it. I thought I needed it. Definitely did not. It, it's fun. It's cool. I don't enjoy the writing experience on the iPad, so I don't ever use it, but it's there. This is my iPad Pro setup. I think it's fine. And I like what I use it for, which is basically to silo myself. So I'm not all over the place when I'm working. But yeah, that is going to be it for my travel tech uh, bag. What's in my tech travel bag? Well, I mean, whatever I'm going to name this video, that is basically what I carry with me 100% of the time. That is what I'm bringing with me to Portland when I go there. And uh, yeah, so far it's worked out for me. I love all these like little ways that I'm trying to minimize my setup. Um, like even the AirPods, I used to bring big noise canceling headphones change it to this. I used to bring that huge charging station, changed it to this. Like all I'm ever trying to do is minimize what I'm bringing and try to get the most out of what I am bringing. And I think I've done a pretty good job over the years. I've kind of toned it down. So let me know in the comments if you guys think there's anything cool I could add or change or do differently. If there's something cool that you think of, but other than that, hope you enjoyed the tech travel carry bag thing, video, whatever I'm going to call this. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.